Accusations of rampant racism at the Blue Water Bridge border crossing. Tonight, three Customs and Border Protection officers are suing the Department of Homeland Security for discriminating against non-white travelers on the basis of race. The complaint stems entirely around this port here on crossing into Canada. Our Jennifer Ann Wilson set out to see what is happening and why. Customs and Border Protection officers, as you may know, do have discretion. If they feel something is off about you or your vehicle or the reason you say you're in the country or leaving the country, they can pull you over and conduct a further investigation. The three officers, though, who've come out in this lawsuit say that that further investigation usually seems to happen when somebody has darker skin. I've been there for 12 years. I've, I've seen it over and over and over again. Johnny Grays works at the Blue Water Bridge as a Customs and Border Protection Officer. To understand that out of 276 border officers at that location, he is one of four African Americans. Attorney Deborah Gordon represents three Customs and Border Protection Officers, including Grays suing the Department of Homeland Security. There's racial profiling, there's racial harassment of travelers. There's racial harassment of employees. Grays is a military veteran who served three tours in Iraq and says he loves his country and wants to protect it. There, there are lots of people smuggling narcotics across our border, okay? There's a wide array of their nationalities and where they come from and, and the color of their skin. But at the Blue Water Bridge border crossing, Gray says he sees over and over black men being detained and scrutinized. How does this young African-American have this nice car? And how in the world does he have a cottage? This, there's something wrong here. The opposite case, if that happens to be a young white man and the same situation existed, nice vehicle, well, where are you traveling? I'm traveling to my parents' cottage. Well, have a nice day. An NAACP investigation released in March analyzed records of over 13,000 stops spanning nine years. These records detailed which police agency initiated the stop and the skin tone of the person apprehended. More than 96% of those arrested by Border Patrol are described as non-white, according to that NAACP investigation. Many alleged incidents are detailed in the lawsuit, and Graves said when he spoke up to his superiors, he was punished. I was placed on desk duty. Um, I have had armed officers sent to my home on more than one occasion. We have blatant discrimination and retaliation. In response to this lawsuit, a U.S. Customs and Border Protection spokesperson says, as a matter of policy, CBP does not comment on pending litigation. Lack of comment should not be construed as agreement or stipulation with any of the allegations. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Jennifer Ann.